are so annoying. Do you hate these things or what? I hate these things. I just got it yesterday. As soon as they heal, you get another one. What's up guys, my name is Zach Dowdy and today we're going to be doing another skate DIY tutorial. I'm super hyped to get into it because we're going to be using Bondo. And I love Bondo because it's a good solution for anything that you need to get done really quick like fixing ledges or fixing stairs before the stair set, fixing cracks, ditches, fixing the bottom of DIYs, banks. Pretty much Bondo is a great solution for all sorts of stuff. So today we're going to be Bondoing a bank that I previously made a video on. Without further ado, we're going to hit up Home Depot to get some of the Bondo essentials. But you can pick up Bondo at AutoZone, Walmart, online. Pretty much any auto store will have Bondo because that's the real core purpose of Bondo is a bonding for auto parts. Let's head to Home Depot and grab some of the goods and dive into today's video. at Home Depot first is Bondo. Obviously you will find Bondo in the paint section. Always comes with the hardener. I always try to grab a couple of the free paint stir sticks because those are really helpful when using Bondo. Tape is also a must. You definitely need some tape. And also a tray to mix in is really good to have and Holly Bondo Buddy Filler Spreader little tool. It's kind of a plastic scoop or spreading tool to spread the Bondo with. These are a couple things that I already have. I'm not going to grab them today at Home Depot but you'll definitely need to grab something like that. If you don't have the money to grab that stuff, you can find some things around to hopefully make it work like a cardboard box you can use or anything that you can basically scrape the Bondo with. So a really quick intermission before I continue to the first steps of how to Bondo. I actually filmed an intro for this video at Home Depot and as I was filming the intro, this guy basically came out of nowhere and attacked me out of a tent. He thought I was filming him and I let him know, hey, I'm just filming an intro for this video. And I think he was on drugs. He was just losing his mind and, and kind of just wouldn't talk to me and was just trying to attack me. So I took off. The point of that is to basically, you know, wherever you are, look out, look out for your surroundings, whether you're filming a video like I did today, or we're doing today, or whether you're building a spot like we're gonna show you how to do. Don't know where I'm going with that, but just that it was kind of a crazy experience to be attacked out of nowhere like that. And a lot of times you have to sort of build spots and find areas where you can get supplies that aren't always, you know, the most kosher, but those are the areas that are gonna be acceptable to you building spots. The same techniques that I do today will apply for any spot that you're bond doing. So whether it's stairs, ledges, ditch, whatever the spot may be. But before we do step one, we're cleaning up the area. We get rid of the rest of my pocket that the guy decided to rip off new shirt. So step one is to spot prep, like I said. Basically you want to just sweep up the spot, get any debris or any dirt, anything like that, free the spot so that it doesn't get caught up in the bondo as you're spinning the bondo. So here's what my bondo kit looks like. You just got the bondo we bought, our mixing tray here, you got some tape, and then the spreader that I was talking about earlier to use on the bondo when we're trying to spread it. All right, step two is basically you want to tape up the area that you want to bondo. You kind of square it off, frame it up, because this is gonna make it a lot easier when you're actually doing the bondo job. The idea is here, it'll make it a lot cleaner once you're done with the job and we rip it off at the very last step. So one thing I would recommend for step number three is add filler if you need it. So that means dirt, rock, anything like that, whether it depends on what you're trying to cover or what it is you're actually trying to do, but use some sort of filler if it's more than an inch deep just to avoid the bondo leaking into all the depths of the spot and not really covering it like you're wanting to do. So sort of make a pre-coverage and let the bondo be the smooth surface on top. Now this is when things get really fun, step number four. What we're gonna do is first get our bondo tray that we're gonna mix in and get everything that we're gonna need while we're mixing really close to us so that we don't have to move around a lot. Step number five is pretty easy. You just wanna open up that bondo can and then with the hardener that you open it up with, put that on the side. You might need a knife or some kind of tool to get the can open. Sometimes it can be kind of hard. All right, step number six, we're gonna get our handy dandy stir stick, paint stick that we got from Home Depot and just scrape all the Bondo out of the bucket. That thing is super useful for this kind of stuff. 
Bondo acts much like a putty when there's no hardener in it, so you'll really need to scrape it all out. And don't worry about this part, you're not in a super big rush yet because the hardener's not in there. Step number seven, we're gonna add the hardener. If this is your first time using Bondo, I would definitely use a little bit of the hardener, but don't take too much time in between those add it as you go because it is gonna start drying as you're mixing it. So as you add hardener, start mixing it, keep adding more hardener until you feel like it's at a pasty white looking level, and then you can start using it. Now in step number eight, we're gonna to need to work really fast because now the hardener's in there and it's immediately drying. So what we're gonna use is our little plastic scooper that I was talking about earlier, and we're just basically gonna scoop up the bottle from our tray and bring it right onto the spot and just start spreading it up. I'm gonna have to go back and forth here on this dish spot because it's pretty rough. It's not really a clean swipe that I can do, but if you're at a spot where it's just a crack or a ledge where it's really clean and everything around it, you could probably get away with like one or two swipes and it'll actually be a lot cleaner bondo job than I'm having to do today. I'm gonna have to go back and forth a little bit to make sure I cover everything that I want to cover. Step number nine is first wait. Nine, ten minutes, let it dry, let it do its thing, cure. Bondo does work really fast. So if you're in the middle of the day, within 10 to 12, 15 minutes, you can start peeling up the tape and you'll feel it right away that the hardener has stuck the Bondos onto the concrete that you put it onto and now the tape is just coming up nice and clean and voila, your Bondo job is pretty much done. But that is not where this video ends because I decided to bite off more than I can chew. Now I didn't show it to you earlier, but I'm gonna show it to you now because I think it's a good opportunity to show you when you should bondo and when you should mortar. I did make a previous video about when you should use mortar and how to use mortar. I'll link it up here above somewhere. And in that video, there's a whole DIY about how to mortar. Point being here is I tried to bondo this huge patch and I'm gonna show it to you right now. As you see, it just was not gonna work. It was too much dirt, too much area to cover with Bondo. I would have had to use so much Bondo that it would just cost a lot of money and it just wouldn't make sense. So instead of using the Bondo, I realized I needed to do more. That's the fun part about DIY, this whole video is fun. DIY is kind of an interesting thing. You're doing it yourself at the same time. I think it's also fun to do with your friends and other people. I don't want to just do this myself. I'm making these videos so you can do it too. So I'm not an expert in Bondo or cement or any of this stuff at all. I'm just having a blast making videos and sharing them. It just gives me a good excuse to go out there and build some more spots. So anyways, I hope you guys like this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did like it. Give it a thumbs down if you hated it. Comment if you have any questions or have any other video ideas that you think I should make. Subscribe if you enjoy these videos. And hell yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Mash. I'll also show you right now what I did. So you can kind of see when you would mortar and when you would bondo. First, I'm gonna show you the bondo job that we did. I did, we did, me and you together. Just the bondo patch. It's nice and clean. That's why I use the tape. You pretty much mark it off so that like, that is literally a patch. That is not going anywhere. When you bondo, it's great for in-between cracks, ledges, before stairs, and even ditches like this sometimes at the very bottom. But when you actually need to fill a good amount of servers, mortar is a much better option. So came back with the mortar today after we're gonna hit it with the mortar. Now, hopefully I get a couple grinds. I'm gonna leave this mortar to grind, but I'm gonna skate the one with the Bondo at least once or twice before the sun goes down and I gotta go make some dinner. Listen.